Good morning, everyone, and welcome. I am Officer Guillory. I'm going to be your officer in charge today of the ceremony. Congratulations, and again, welcome. This has been a really long journey for some of you. Um, congratulations, okay? A couple of uh, announcements before we get started for like the 15 millionth time. Make sure your phones are on silent or you have them powered off completely, all right? <coughs> if this morning you did not turn in all of your USCIS documentation, please do so before you leave. If you have any still in your possession, go ahead and raise them up so we can collect them. If not, if you get home and you find that you have some more, turn them in, get rid of them, you no longer need them, okay? When you get your certificate, it's gonna be like this. Make sure that you verify all of the information is correct, all right? Thank you. Um, if you realize that there is anything incorrect about it, let us know as soon as possible. Make sure before you leave the parking lot today that you have let us know that there is something that is inaccurate on your certificate so we can get it corrected. Otherwise, you will have to fill out a form, you will have to pay for that, and you will have to wait for it. We don't want you to do that, okay? Um, understand that your certificate has very private information on it. Do not go, we are so excited, right? Do not go out on your social media account. <laughs> and post your certificate, right? Use this envelope with your flag, right? Don't post your private information on your certificate. That um, the private information that is on your certificate on your social media account, okay? Very easy for someone to come get it and then boom, identity fraud. We don't want that, okay? So protect yourself and your private information. Um, Make sure that you visit your the Social Security Administration office with your original certificate so they can update all of your information. Same thing with the DMV. If you have a state ID or you have a driver's license, make sure you take your original certificate with you there and update your information with them as well, okay? If you do not, um, if you, in your, app, in your envelope, you will see an application for a U.S. passport. You now will have the option to get a U.S. passport. Make sure you fill it out, follow those instructions. It's a completely different department than us, so I can't, ask, I can't answer too many of your questions, but reach out to them, okay? With that being said, on behalf of the San Antonio United States Citizenship Immigration Services Office, congratulations. Taking the oath of allegiance and embracing U.S. citizenship is a remarkable act of patriotism for those who choose to make a permanent commitment to the United States. Today, in taking the oath of allegiance to support and defend the Constitution and laws of the United States of America, you have gained important new rights and responsibilities with ownership of America's future. I hope that you are inspired and dedicated to fully exercise these rights and meet the responsibilities that accompany your new status as United States citizens. I am confident that your spirit and dedication will contribute to the continued prosperity, strength, and well-being of our nation. Again, congratulations to each of you, and now let us proceed with the Oath of Allegiance. Those of you taking the Oath of Allegiance, please stand and raise your right hand. Remember at the end of the Oath, we will say as loud and proud as we can the words, I do. Do each of you hereby declare on oath or solemnly affirm that you absolutely and entirely renounce and abjure all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince, potentate, state, or sovereignty of whom or which you have heretofore been a subject or citizen, that you will support and defend the Constitution and laws of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that you will bear arms on behalf of the United States when required by law, that you will bear, 
that you will perform non-combatant service in the armed forces of the United States when required by law, that you will perform work of national importance under civilian direction when required by law, and that you take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. So help me God. I do. You are now a citizen of the United States of America.